So what's going on guys? I am back here at Ron Hoover. This specific video was actually a request that one of my subscribers had in a comment. I was asked if I could take a look at the new Sunset Trail Superlight, and Ron Hoover actually has one in stock right now. This is the 210 FK, and FK generally stands for front kitchen. This one is equipped with 14 inch wheels, so it's a 205-75 R14. You know, for only being a 21 foot long unit, which I guess about 25 feet when everything's said and done, it has an outside kitchen. So it does have the pull-out cooktop plus a refrigerator and a nice spot here. Now I really don't know what you would use this for, but it's a great storage area just for pretty much anything you'd need, whether it be kitchen supplies or even some lawn chairs. It looks to be about two feet deep, so it's definitely a nice spot for storage. This trailer does not have auto leveling, but it does have the scissor jacks in the back and up front, so four point jacks help stabilize it. This is for a barbecue grill. I still actually prefer spare tires on the back. I know a lot of people don't really like the look as much, but it's nice because you don't have to worry about crawling underneath or trying to lower a tire and then grabbing it from underneath because it's right there. This unit does not have an upgraded equalizer between the suspension. It's your standard equalizer. Has one slide out. And this is a cable driven slide out as well. You can see both cables on the top and bottom. Has a front pass through storage with a slam latch. Magnetic hold. It's pretty good sized storage actually. And it's not squared off like some of them, so it actually widens at the top. Looks like you get about two and a half to three feet up top and about two feet at the bottom. Plus you have a light inside. And on the other side, you actually have a power port. This unit has a 7,200 pound gross vehicle weight rating and can hold up to 2,423 pounds of cargo. So this has a really, really good weight rating for its size. Has a power jack up front, dual propane tanks, and I'm really interested to see what the inside looks like, especially with this large window right here. Very nice aluminum steps. The inside of this unit is pretty cozy. So it's got a nice kitchen up front with a window. A lot of countertop space. I mean, it is the entire width of this unit. Plus, you even have space behind the sink and faucet. There is just a tremendous amount of front kitchen counter space here. You get your microwave, as well as your oven and stovetop. Your refrigerator's on this side, and the TV and entertainment is right above it. This dinette does convert into a bed. Looks to be about a twin size bed, maybe a little larger, maybe closer to a full size bed. Has a good size bathroom. It's your standard travel trailer tub shower, but it's not that bad. And there's a pretty good amount of room in here. Now I personally would have probably liked a toilet positioned facing that wall just so it gives you a little bit more room in front of it, but it's really not that bad. There's about maybe 14 inches of space between the front of the toilet bowl and the cabinets. Very tall though, so you really wouldn't have to worry about standing in the shower, even if you're a pretty tall fella. If you're six foot five, you might have a problem simply because the base of the tub is raised off the ground slightly, but I'd say upwards of about six five, you'd be okay. Stepping into the rear bedroom, it's not bad. Really, it's a pretty good sized bedroom. It's a queen size bed. You have about a foot and a half of room behind the bed to move past it. You have about probably 20 inches of space on each side to get around the bed. And there's plenty of ceiling height to prevent you from hitting your head at the top. Plus a lot of cabinetry. This is a nice unit. This would be a really good unit for weekend campers. Even if you have some small kids that don't mind sleeping on the dinette area. This is definitely not a bad unit has a single AC system, and you have a skylight back here, which you could probably install a second AC system in the back bedroom if you needed one. Plus your cable and power jacks for a TV in the back bedroom are up there on the ceiling. Overall, 
This is a very nice and spacious unit for being the size it is. A lot of floor space here, so if you have some little kids with you, if you have a toddler or you know someone who wants some room to play, this is a really, really good spot for it. In terms of storage, you have some under seating storage here, you have some storage here, you have cabinets here, you have one cabinet up here, and that's just about it in this area. It would be nice to see some overhead cabinets right here. Even if they were small, they'd work out well for cups and small plates and things like that. But man, look at this. I'm not kidding you. This is probably close to three and a half feet deep, and it's the entire eight foot width of this unit. In case you're wondering, this front window does not open. I know it looks like it might, but it doesn't. You have a side window right here, as well as plenty of windows across this side to let air in. This has the Coleman mock system. It's probably a 13.5 unit, but it might be a 15K unit. And then you also have a ceiling vent here above the kitchen area. Overall, not a bad unit, especially with the cargo capacity that it has. That's really nice. And this AC unit, of course, is ducted throughout the coach. I can imagine it does a pretty good job of cooling the unit down. Plus, you get your stereo system here that feeds sound through the coach as well. All in all, this is not a bad unit. You have a really nice full-length awning. It pretty much extends the entire length of the coach except for about four feet on the front here where the slope starts but it would really cover a large portion of this side. Guys, this is a really nice coach. I don't know the exact pricing of it. That's something I'll be able to find out. And they have another one right behind it, which is gonna have a slightly different layout. It does not have the window up front. Pretty much all the same exterior features. It looks like it's gonna have a larger outside kitchen. It has a really nice living room layout here. Not quite as much kitchen counter space, and it has a very, very large master front area with two pocket doors, or French style pocket doors that will slide together. And if I am correct, this is a full size queen bed. In the back is gonna be a very large master bathroom. So this is a huge master bathroom. This is probably larger than most people have in their fifth wheel. Plenty of room, almost two and a half feet between the front of the toilet and the shower itself. Full-size shower unit. I'm gonna say you could easily be upwards of about six, five to fit in this shower. Just a tremendous amount of space. Nice cabinet and counter space right here in front of the toilet. Plus you have more storage above the toilet. You have a much larger TV in this unit. Looks to be about a 42 inch TV. All your controls has a much larger refrigerator in this unit. Gas electric. A lot of storage. Single AC unit, but it does have the vent above the master bed. And the main AC unit is ducted. Plus look at this huge pantry area right here. Right when you walk in, you have this enormous pantry and it's pretty much a walk-in pantry. There's a good you know, foot and a half of space right here before you even get to the shelving unit. This would be a great place to store a vacuum cleaner, brooms, any cleaning supplies, as well as any kitchen things you need. The outside kitchen in this coach is also much bigger. It's not quite as wide, but you get a really nice larger outside refrigerator, a cooking area, cabinet space, a sink, which I absolutely love. I think they should put outside sinks on every RV because these just come in incredibly handy for just washing the kids' hands, prepping fish, anything you might need to do, plus nice cabinet space above it. Guys, I really like these compact sunset trails. I prefer this unit right here, and this is the 222RB, and the RB stands for rear bathroom. They both have a three-year structural warranty. And they have all sorts of different floor plans available with this model. That one's really cool because it has the front window. And I think that would actually be a really nice addition to this front bedroom to have that nice window above it. But I prefer this floor plan over that floor plan. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we will talk to you again soon.